Hi everyone, welcome to AutoCAD. My name is Ari and I'm an AEC Technical Specialist with Digital Drafting Systems. Today we're going to be customizing our ribbon and workspace. We can access our workspace customization window by going to our Manage tab right here. And in the customization panel, we can click on User Interface. Another way to access it, which is a bit faster, is to use the status bar up here. And all we have to do is find the drop down at the end of our status bar and click on Workspace. Let's make sure there's a check next to it. And now our workspace area is ready. We can click on its drop down and click on Customize. Here we're in the Customize User Interface window. I like to call it the Workspace Manager. And here we can manage our workspaces. We can click on an existing workspace, right click on it, and click on Duplicate. As you can see, I have my own workspace right here. I've been using that one, and my own workspace has its own tab that you can see right here. So let's try to make a similar one. Let's right click on Copy of Drafting, and let's give it a different name. I'd say let's give it Workspace Test. That's a good name. And you can see that the name, Workspace Test, has also changed in our Properties area right here. There are several properties that we can manage right here, but for now we're going to keep them as defaults. Now we can go to our ribbon area. This will show every single kind of tab and panel that we have within AutoCAD. Right now you can see my own ribbon tab is right here. We're going to be making a new tab, so let's go to the Home 2D one, which is essentially the home one right here. We're going to right click on it and duplicate that one. Let's right click on Copy of Home and let's rename it. Now notice as I rename it here, what happens in the properties area. We're going to call this one Tools Test. And you'll see that even though I named it here in all customization files, the actual display text of the tab did not go through. It actually still says Copy of Home. And if I was to click Apply and OK after adding it to my workspace, it would be called Copy of Home right up here. So let's make sure that we click on this and we highlight it. And let's call it, of course, Tools Test as well. Now we can actually see the correct title and we can manage that right here. This is all ready now. Now let's go and expand our Tools Test and we can see that it has the same kinds of tools that you'll see in most home tabs. Now what we can do is we can get rid of certain tools that we don't use often, certain panels, and we can add panels that we like. A good example is the Group Panel. I rarely use it. It looks like this. We can see a panel preview. And so because I don't use it that often, and I, can, I know where to find it and I don't need to use it under my main panel, my main tab, I can right click and remove it. I only want to use panels that I use on a day-to-day -day basis very, very frequently. So let's scroll down and let's look for one of our tabs, which is one of my favorites. It's called the View 2D tab. Let's expand that one. And under that one are named views. This is great because now I can manage my views without having to go to our, my View tab right here. It's a lot faster. And I use views very often, especially when I render. We're going to click and hold and drag this up. Let's drag it all the way up to the tab we just made. There we go. And we don't need to put it at the end. I'd like to put it ahead of utilities, around right there. Perfect. And I can rearrange a couple of things. I can actually put my 2D block behind properties because I feel like layers and properties are more connected and more related to each other. Now that everything's in the position that I'd like it to be, I can now decompress this. And now let's add it to our workspace. To add it to a workspace, all you need to do is click on the workspace first, and then you click on Customize Workspace right here. You'll notice that a few things have changed under All Customization Files. Now we have boxes and checks next to our tabs. We can actually go and check off the Tools Test. Notice what happens on the right side when I do this. It has now automatically been added to our Ribbon Tabs area right here. It's all the way at the bottom, which means it will be at the end of the list. I don't want that. I want it to be at the front of the list. It is a very, very important tab. And I don't want to see my other tools, so I'm just going to uncheck them. And in this case, I'd still like to see Home 2D. I don't want it to disappear. Some people prefer to use the default home, but this is a great way that, to customize it. So we can drag Home 2D back up, and now we have all of the different tabs we'd like, including some extra ones that we have. So. Everything is now ready. We can click on Done in the same place that we clicked on Customize Workspace. Excellent. Now it is done. And before we click Apply and OK, we need to make sure that this workspace is set as the current workspace. We can right-click and set current. And we can also right-click and set default. 
I'm not going to do that right now because I'd like my workspace to be the one that we see when you start up AutoCAD for the first time. But we've set it as current, so now we can click Apply. You'll notice that when we click Apply, we'll notice some changes, but not all. The ribbon will not change immediately, but a lot of our different panels that were over here on the left have disappeared. Well, let's click OK now and watch the ribbon as it transforms. Excellent! Now we have our Tools Test tab. It is in position. Everything looks good, and it's in the order that we have specified. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. To see more videos about Revit, please visit our website at ddscad.com. We hope you have a great day.